Hi there, Henry Beyer with Strong for Life. In this video, you'll be learning how to clean and press. Actually, this is a down and dirty version of how to do the clean and press. It's not a full tutorial. It's really more of a demonstration than a com complete in-depth uh, lesson on how to do the clean and press. But, so the clean is where you take a weight from down on the ground or suspended about knee height, wherever it is, and bring it up to chest level. And so it's a great way to get a weight into the position that you wanna be pressing from. So I'll demonstrate it here from the front, and then I'll demonstrate it from the side. So from the front, you, you, you'll get set up as if you're going to do like a two hand swing and then just take off, in this case, my right hand, because I always start with my left hand. And then I swing the back, I stand up, and instead of swinging the bell, I pull the kettlebell into what's called the racked position. The rack position is where the kettlebell rests between my upper arm and my lower arm in this V and just sits there nicely. From here, I can tighten up and I can press the kettlebell overhead like that. Now, there's two options. I can continue pressing without cleaning, but this demonstration is about to clean and press, so now I have to clean the kettlebell again. So I let it go between my legs and I pull it back up into the racked position. I press again and then down and then up again, down, and then I put the kettlebell back on the ground. And then I repeat on the other side. Now I'll demonstrate the clean and press from the side. This time I'm using my right arm. And again, I get myself set up in basic, the basic swing position. Hinge my hips back, get in my nice uh, hinge position get my hands on to the kettlebell so I have like a right position. Take my left hand off in this case, I'm cleaning with my right hand. I hike the kettlebell back and stand up into my rack position, press overhead and repeat. And then replace the kettlebell. You'll notice that my elbow stays in tight to my body as I do this. My arm does not come out straight and then I pull the kettlebell in. I'm keeping the kettlebell close to my body and the, the movement of the hips gives the kettlebell the momentum so then I just have to guide it into place in the racked position. So that's just a very basic demonstration, down and dirty explanation of how to do the kettlebell clean and press. As I said, it's a great exercise for getting weight into position for doing pressing exercise. Plus it combines the hip hinge and a press into one neat movement. So you get extra practice with you're hinging while you're doing your pressing. So thanks again for watching the video and as always, please let me know if you have any questions.